you fuckers watching this sick shit. This is sickening. Guy, a blood clot, man. This man is right. Stop looking at those disgusting SpongeBob feet pics. Stop it. Get some help. And Bam. I can help you. Start watching Boy Dilly instead. I make Dead by Daylight videos and I got a very big cock. Also, look at this beautiful dog. Yeah, he's dead now. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make me a happy little boy. Also, you can become my supporter by clicking that jingly wingly join button. I will play Dead by Daylight with you, you will get an exclusive Discord role, and you will get to see some exclusive secret videos. Join now and satisfy your inner needs. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Oh, what a beautiful night to be alive. Let's watch Dead by Daylight videos. Um, let's watch this one. The issue with Dead by Daylight. This has to be gen rushing. Let, let, let's watch this. Today, we are going to talk about something unholy. It's Jan Rushing. Something so despicable. Jan Rushing. Any DVD player will instantly shudder when I mention its existence. Jan Rushing. And that is... Jan Rushing. Camping and tunneling. God damn it, what the hell? That's right, unlike most Dead by Daylight problems, gen rushing is one of those problems that Dead by Daylight content creators don't really discuss in their videos. It's not like Arnold Schwarzenegger is gonna beat me up for discussing this topic, he is like 75 years old. So I'm gonna talk about one of the biggest problems in my opinion that is plaguing Dead by Daylight. And I think that at the moment there's a gen rushing apocalypse in Dead by Daylight. To understand this video, you got to understand what is gen rushing. Most of you know what it means, but if you don't know, basically gen rushing is a survivor strategy when survivors are focused on repairing generators as fast as possible and they are not focused on doing any other tasks. For example, they are not trying to get into chases or get extra blood points, fuck that. Instead, they are focused on repairing generators as fast as possible to escape the trial as fast as possible possible. It doesn't sound like gen rushing is that bad of a thing to do, right? That's right, gen rushing is a legitimate way to win the game. There are multiple ways to gen rush the killer and I'm gonna talk about it later in the video. And you are not a horrible human being for gen rushing because I'm gen rushing too and most of you have done it at least once in your lives. So why is gen rushing a bad thing then? Just like it sounds, sitting on generators all match long is not that fun and not engaging in chases, which in my opinion is the best part of Dead by Daylight, that sounds kind of boring too. I mean, you can gen rush without any problems for one or two matches, but most gen rushers apply this strategy every single game. It means that every single game they are sitting there like idiots and repairing those generators like, oh, oh, I'm so in love with you. <laughs> Not only is it a boring playstyle, but it's also an annoying playstyle to deal with. Imagine the killer side going against people who are totally focused on fixing generators as fast as possible to end the game in less than 10 minutes. I mean, you are lucky to get one hook, and in my opinion, gen rushing makes this game survivor sided. I already talked about this so many times, and I'm gonna talk about about this once again. In my opinion, Dead by Daylight is a survivor-sided game. And if you tell me that this is a killer-sided game, I will believe you, because it's your experience. But from my personal experience, survivor games are way easier than killer games. The thing that makes killer games so hard is skill-based matchmaking system. For some reason, skill-based matchmaking system in Dead by Daylight most of the time will connect you with survivors
survivors that are better than you as a killer you chose to play. And if those survivors are friends and they can communicate, in that case, most of the time it's game over before it begins, because most likely they will gen rush you. It's very easy to gen rush a killer when you are playing with your friends. For example, you can be one survivor who is getting chased by the killer, while all of the other survivors are strictly focused on repairing generators as fast as possible. It happened to me so many times and I felt like this idiot trying to chase this one survivor while all of the generators were popping all around me. Do you like when you play as killer and then you hear when generator after generator pops and pops and pops? Don't lie to yourself, you have been in that situation at least once and you definitely don't like that. Gen rushing makes killers angry and they are forced to try salty strategies to win their games, for example camping and tunneling. I know that people hate tunnelers and campers but these are two legitimate ways to win the game. I will include slugging as well. These three things, camping, tunneling and slugging, most of the time they are caused by annoying gen rushers and killers, they want to be salty too. If survivors are salty, why can't killers be salty? And I'm not justifying camping, tunneling or slugging, in fact I hate going against campers in Dead by Daylight. But in my opinion, less gen rushing would lead to less campers. Let's talk about why exactly right now Dead by Daylight is suffering from the gen rushing apocalypse. Technically speaking, it was always possible to gen rush the killer in Dead by Daylight. In fact, in the past, there were even different ways to gen rush killers than there are right now. For example, this is the worst toolbox in Dead by Daylight. If you play Dead by Daylight, you know that this toolbox has 16 charges. In the past, this toolbox, the worst toolbox in Dead by Daylight, used to have 80 charges and I'm not even kidding you, toolboxes were OP as fuck. Their add-ons, they made them even better. So technically, if you had the worst toolbox in the game, the effect of that toolbox would be almost the same as if all four of you today had a toolbox and worked on the same generator. It was overpowered and it could very easily encourage people to gen rush without even trying. But I remember those days when toolbox were very strong. I used to play Dead by Daylight back then, I started playing this game like in 2018 and even though toolboxes were overpowered, this game didn't have a gen rushing problem because killer perks would prevent survivors from gen rushing. For example, back then the best killer perk in the game was without any doubt, Hex Ruin. This perk would completely destroy people who try to gen rush the killer and it would make matches so much easier for killers. I would even go as far as to say that this perk was my favorite perk in the game and it made matches much more fair than they are right now most of the time. I know this perk wasn't fair for beginner players but for more experienced players it was a great perk to have in the game to counter gen rushing. Corrupt intervention, thrilling tremors, eruption, Pop Goes the Weasel and so many other perks would help killers to deal with gen rushers. Back in the day it was almost impossible to go against a killer with gen rushing playstyle and it made games not only fun for the killers but also for survivors too because they couldn't just rush generators and move to the next game. Games used to be longer, now Dead by Daylight matches take up to 10 minutes, back in the day they used to take up to 20 minutes. But but survivors would enjoy getting into chases, making memories and I remember in 2018 when gen rushing wasn't the meta, I made so many memories as a survivor player, it was the most fun I had with Dead by Daylight. And it's not because of nostalgia reasons, instead I had so much fun with Dead by Daylight because I couldn't just move on to the next game after rushing all 5 generators, I was forced to stay for longer periods of time in the same game and I would just get into chases, laugh myself off after escaping the killer, this game meant to me much more than it means right now. I understand why Dead by Daylight developers decided to nerf
nerf almost every single perk that used to counter gen rushing in the game. They decided to nerf these perks because they were the most popular killer perks, they needed a rebalance and you know after getting nerfs there's not really that many perks that are there to counter gen rushing. At the moment we, see, we have so little perks that help us to counter gen rushing that it's not even worth playing many killers in the game and at this, po at this point because if you choose a weak killer for example trapper most of the time survivors will just simply gen rush you and you will lose the game. One of the reasons we are seeing more gen rushers in the game these days than we used to see in the past is that Dead by Daylight has had the same game mode for 7 years. We are not getting any new content besides new killers and new survivors. And people are begging for Dead by Daylight developers to add new game modes, but they won't. And people won't just move on to another game because, let's be fair, Dead by Daylight is kind of ad an addictive game and we love these characters that are in Dead by Daylight. And we are tired of the same gameplay loop over and over and over again, repeating itself. So what what's left is, let's play Survivor for, for blood points and let's just rush these killers because it just got bored boring to play the same shit again and again and again. Not only did developers nerf all of these killer perks, but also they added more survivor perks that would help them to gen rush killers. For example, there's an infamous hyper focus build, which trust me, works and it helps survivors to, in a boring kind of a way, gen rush killers easily. Also, there's there are so many synergies with Prove thyself and so many other uh, gen rushing perks. At this point, I'm I'm surprised that with one of the newest chapters, with uh, the school merchant chapter, we got even more gen rushing perks. Why would they do it? Why would they intentionally encourage survivors to gen rush? I don't blame the I don't I don't blame gen rushers for doing what they do. I blame developers for encouraging this shit by adding even more methods to gen rush. It used to be possible to gen rush the killer only with toolbox and its pink add-on. Right now there are like at least 10 different methods to gen rush killer, including so many gen rushing perks. But basically that is my take on gen rushing, which in my opinion is a big problem. We are living in gen rush apocalypse and I hate playing killer, I've been hating playing killer for the past year, but it is what it is, we can't really change much, let's hope for some positive changes. Comment what do you think, I put a lot of work into making this video, I have never put this much of work into like the past, like in the past year I haven't put this much of work into any Dead by Daylight video, so please comment that you like it if you like it, because I want to know if you enjoy this video, what do you think of my new intro, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you later.